Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing the November box for Slay Glam Box. Plus, I'm going to go over some of the spoilers for December. Slay Glam Box, if you don't know what that is, it is a monthly subscription box for $24. If you are in the U.S., you get free U.S. shipping. And if you are international, it is just an extra $9 for the shipping. So if you want to see how I created this look today, then make sure you keep on watching this video, of course. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Become part of the Wolf Pack today, and let's get into it. I do want to be completely transparent with you and upfront. I am sent this box in PR. Um, they send it to me every month to do a review and kind of tell you about what's in there, kind of give you some ideas how to use it. Um, they do have a lash subscription box also for an additional $15 a month. And if you're interested in signing up for just the makeup box, use the code Elizabeth Slay for 10% off your first box. The total value of today's box is a hundred and three dollars and we have brands like Bella Pierre, Medusa's Makeup, we have Dazzling, we have Dripping Diamonds, and we have Crown Brushes and a new eyeshadow palette that we're going to play with in today's video. If you haven't received it yet, make sure you reach out to their team on Instagram. Send them either uh, you know, a private message or just comment on their most recent post letting them know that you haven't received it yet. They'll be more than glad to help take care of you. Okay, but if you want to see how I did this complete face of makeup, then make sure you continue to watch this video. I am going to go through foundation, bronzer, um, pretty much the whole nine yards using everything that I got in the box. So without further ado, let's get into that tutorial. Okay, so to start with, I did use my Cover FX. This is the blurring primer just to prep the skin and fill in some of the pores just to give it a little bit more of a smoother appearance. And for my foundation today, I am going to be using, just because I need to use this foundation. I know it's getting close to being old, if not there already. I'm just trying to use it up. Uh, this is from CoverGirl. This is the Clean Matte BB Cream for oily skin, and this is in the shade 510 Fair. Um, but before we do that, I want to go ahead and do just a little bit of color correcting. And just because I'm still trying to play with this product, I'm trying to get as much use out of it as possible. I'm going to be going in with the Dragon Beauty. This is the Skin Perfecting Potion. And also, just because I have some seriously dark under eye circles, it is just, it's just one of those things, you know, that you got to deal with from time to time. And I haven't given up on this product yet. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do uh, with Slay Glam Box. Gosh, sorry, I cannot get my words straight today. Oh, and also notice on her Instagram account, it now says trademark. So she has trademarked the Slay Glam Box. And I just want to say congratulations on that. That's pretty awesome. Okay, but the reason that I'm doing a video with the full complexion for a Slay Glam Box because they don't have complexion products normally, but I did get the Bella Pierre. This is the Face Slay Kit, and there are some compl complexion things in there, so we're going to use those today. And to use some of it, I kind of have to have my foundation on, and some of it is to set the foundation, so that is why I'm kind of doing everything on here. And this is a good foundation, by the way. They have changed the packaging on this, which, which is why I know that that's an old foundation. Um, but I'm just going to use it up. This will probably be the last time that I actually use it. Now, because it's a BB cream, you're still going to see my skin through this. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. Like, I'm, I'm comfortable going bare-faced, but this is just more or less even your skin tone. And the concealer I'm using today, this is from Lorac. This is the Pore Affection Concealer. It is a oil-free formula, and the shade that I'm using is PC4 Beige. Okay, so next we're going with the face kit. Now, this is going to include a beauty sponge, and I actually forgot that it had that in there. We've got a setting spray, we have a contour and cream highlight, and we have a setting powder. Bella here isn't really a brand you know, I've gotten them in other subscription boxes before, but it's kind of one of those brands where it's a little bit hit and miss. Some of the products are really good, and some of them are, you know, kind of take it or leave it. And because I have already used this, I kind of, I can already give you a good review on this. The formula is very, very easy to blend, but this color, the kit that I got is the Fair and Medium. And the bronzer on here is too warm tone and yet too light all at the same time which is a little bit <laughs> annoying but i think i would have actually have to get a different kit for this i was really surprised i think if you have super super fair skin which i kind of do but even this is too light for me i don't know maybe for contouring it's a little bit too light 
All right, so while I'm blending that out, let's talk about some spoilers for next month on the Slay Glam box. They have released three spoilers so far, and I'm going to be going over those in today's video, in addition to trying on all the products. Hopefully you don't mind that this is going to be a little bit longer while I'm going through the spoilers, but in case you already got your box, that way you can kind of follow along with me and we can use our makeup together, you know, kind of like a get ready style with me, or get ready with me style video. I can't talk today. The first spoiler, this is from Spoiled Lips Cosmetics. I love the name of that brand. That is just so cute and their packaging is really cute. But we are getting a liquid lipstick set from them. And this isn't gonna be a customization product. Cause normally, you know, in the box you can customize different products that you're gonna be getting. If you're gonna be getting different colors, there are variations. You cannot customize this because you're getting every one of them. And you can see like it warmed up a little bit of my complexion but it didn't really do a whole lot as far as contouring. But I am gonna go ahead and move into the setting powder. And this is a HD setting powder, which means it is very, very finely milled. Now, ooh, powder's going everywhere. There is a little sticker on here to take the, you know, you're supposed to peel off to be able to use the product, but because it's not placed on there correctly, all the powder is just moving around inside, so I don't even have to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that and by a little bit, I mean a lot, <laughs> because it comes out on the brush so easily. I'm going to set my under eyes. We're gonna set it and forget it. Um, I don't normally use HD powders. It's because sometimes you can get that flashback with them, but you know, it does a really good job at making sure that you look kind of airbrushed whenever you finish. And I think that foundation has actually oxidized quite a bit on me because it looks so much darker than my neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up really quickly and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and bronzed up. I used my Hourglass Ambient lighting bronzer in the shade nude bronze light i used that all over and i took it kind of down trying to match the rest of my body to my face but my face oxidized way too much so this this foundation is definitely going to go in the trash like it's it's done there is no more life i can get out of it and i did my brows with a bodyography brow powder trio i'm getting back into doing powder brows i was using pencils for so long um, but I do need to, I use the bronzer on my face to kind of slash warm it up contour, but I do need to put some color back into my cheeks. So I'm going to be using this blush from Pixie. This is the Fresh Face Blush in the shade Peach Parfait. And I'm just going to take that onto one of my absolute favorite crown brush blush brushes. Just to, you know, just to dab on a little bit of color there. I am a sucker for a peach blush. It's my absolute favorite. And I think Pixie is pretty affordable as well. I got this in a subscription box. I think it was Ipsy Ultimate, maybe as an add-on or something. I, if you can't tell, I like subscription boxes. <laughs> now we're gonna go into the eyeshadow palette that was in the set. This is a fancy eyeshadow palette. And this is from Oaklan. I cannot pronounce this. It is spelled O-K-A-L-A-N but it is a beautiful neutrals eyeshadow palette. Um, I have used this a few times and honestly love the formula. They did actually pretty good on this. Um, with it being something I've never tried before, you know, it can kind of be a little iffy if you're gonna like it or not. And so I have worn this a few times. Uh, like I said, I do like it. Um, so I'm gonna go in with Topaz. Yeah, we're moving on to the eyes. So the, I have two, okay, that was a little bit more pigmented. I should have gone a little bit lighter. Um, so we have two more spoilers for the December box. Both of these are from the same brand. And let me write it down. It is Russia B Cosmetics. I had never heard of this brand before, um, but I went through looking their Instagram page after seeing it on Soleil Glam. And it's actually, their stuff's good. Like it looks super, super cute, the packaging on it. Everything kind of has a, the way they do the foiling or the, the where, this part is of the palette everything looks like it was kind of hand wrapped so it looks like it has that one-of-a-kind handmade look 
and it's really interesting. Most everything that you see in eyeshadow palettes, everything is super, super flat, super smooth. And the fact that it has that little bit of texture, for some reason, it makes it appeal more to me. Um, but before, <laughs> I didn't even tell you what it was. This is the Holiday Inspired Eyeshadow Palette. Um, it is full of neutrals. There are reds in there, there is a green, and a gold. The only thing that would make this even more of a holiday set would be if it had a gold, like a, or a silver, sorry. If it had a silver in there, that way you could carry it on to the New Year's because I think a lot of people often wear silver, like sparkly silvers, and they could have done away with maybe one of the neutrals to substitute for that silver. I think that would have been the only thing that would have finished it and made it just completely awesome, you know? It's fine the way it is, but just a little bit something extra. Just with it being a neutrals, I kinda, I'm inspired to do more of a simpler look. I'm gonna take Citrine on a flat shading brush and just gonna take that all over the lid. And it kinda gives it that pumpkin spice kinda look to, to the eyeshadow. I really like orange shades. It just makes me think of fall. You know, it'd probably clash with my pink hair a little bit, but I have been trying out hair masks, trying to get something that feels really, really good, and I haven't been able to find one that I really, really like. I had one from, uh, oh, I can't even think of what it's called. Not the dry bar. I'm drawing to blank. It's the one that's in the gray bottle. Um, I got a mask from them, and it's supposed to repair your hair, and it's for damaged hair, because, you know, I bleached my hair, and it, the ends did get some damaged, and they've been feeling kind of weird lately, and I have gotten this hair mask thinking that it was going to make my, my hair just feel amazing. I'm going to take a clean brush and just make sure everything's blended really well. Um, but I have been trying that mask thinking it will take care of everything, but my hair, it is honestly making my hair feel worse than when I put it on. And I've tried it all different kinds of ways and I like, because it says to use it in the shower, leave it on for a few minutes and then, or five minutes and then rinse it off. My hair feels like absolute straw after using it. Um, so I did it that way in the shower and then I was like, well, maybe I didn't really get to give it a full chance. And so this time, or the last time, I used it outside the shower. And I'm going to bring that orange just a little bit higher and mix it in with the two. Um, so I went around with the bag on my head after putting the conditioner or the mask on my hair. And I left it on there for like 15 minutes. And with the heat and everything, I thought maybe it would make it penetrate deeper because I'm new to hair mask, but I've always seen my friends do that and it makes their hair feel absolutely amazing. And I couldn't remember any of what it was, you know, the stuff that they used, but I saw that one at Marshall's on sale. I'm like, ooh, I'll just give this a try. It didn't work either. And so my hair has been so unmanageable. I have not been able to do anything with it that all I'm able to do is just leave it up in a bun because it's just driving me crazy. It is not flattering. If any of you guys have recommendations for a hair mask, something, I want to be that girl that walks around with a bag on her head. I finally realized I like that experience. Keep it on your head and just kind of go around, hang around the house, you know, do chores, whatever, tidy it up, or just do your nails, something so it's kind of like a full spa experience. I think that's what I really want to do. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to mix the, the tiger eye and that orange together so it's a little bit warmer. And so if you have any recommendations, please let me know. I and looking for something like that. I've heard Amika has a good one. I think it's like hair food or hair salt, something like that. I am new to hair, even though I have pink hair and I maintain it, but by maintaining it, I'm just going to the salon, you know? I don't really, I just make sure I don't wash it that often, make sure that I always condition it every single time. And I have an appointment coming up in a couple of weeks and I thought I'll just make sure my hair is just super, super nice. I don't care if it fades out right now. I'm just trying to get it in really good condition to prep for the hair color because I know I won't be able to do as much afterwards, you know? And so I'm just looking for some recommendations because it's been driving me absolutely crazy. Um, I am going to take another shade, Quartz, on my finger and just pop that in the inner corner just to give it a little bit of extra shimmer. It kind of takes away some of that orange, but I don't mind it. It just gives it something a little extra. Um, now, I do want to say that the shimmer shades in this, they're a little bit um, sheer. So if you are a natural light 
makeup kind of girl, I think this palette is going to be absolutely perfect for you. But you could probably turn up the, the volume with doing a cut crease and putting it on top of concealer. This month we also got a three piece eyeliner set. This is from Crown Brushes. We have three different colors. I'm going to be using dark green for my eyeliner today. And I'm just using this to line the upper lashes. And I wasn't really planning on lining the, the water line with it, but you know what? I just went for it, so whoop, there it is. I kind of like the combination that they gave us this month. So you have the neutral eyeshadow palette, but yet you get to punch it up with some color with these eyeliners. I think the set together, or the combo together, was actually pretty good. And I'm going to put on some mascara, and this is just a little sample from Hourglass. This is the Caution Mascara. Ooh, damn, I really did that. Okay, and for highlight, while I'm applying that, I'm gonna talk about the last spoiler that we have for December. I'm just gonna be using the highlighter that I have in front of me. This is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is the Supreme Frost and Frozen Peach. Um, so the last spoiler that we have from Rasha B Cosmetics is a three-piece lip liner set. And I'm very glad they're doing this, especially with the liquid lipstick set that we're going to be getting from Spoiled Lips Cosmetics. Oh, and the, the set from Spoiled Lips, there are a couple of deeper shades, but mostly it is a neutral collection. So there will be something in there for everyone. I love that highlight. I did try using the... Um, one of the eyeshadows as a highlighter before and it's not made for that like i thought because it was so sheer the one that i put on the inner corner because it was so sheer i thought maybe that would do really really good as a highlight and it just doesn't <laughs> i made such a mess so the lip liners that we have and again this isn't a customization item because you are getting the complete set you have a cranberry a nude and a natural all so pretty and speaking of lip liners, it is time for me to put on one because the next product that we got, this is from Drippin' and Diamonds. We did have a lipstick from them not too long ago. This here, and it was so pretty. This is the lip gloss, and it is just seriously so pretty. I love the way that it catches the light. But I do want to say one thing is that when I first opened it up, it kind of smelled really, really strong like glue. And you can kind of see a little bit here where it's starting to come up like it's lifting up like they didn't really give this one enough time and I'm thinking that they were rushing them out to get them out as soon as possible and the stuff that they use to attach the, the sparkly moment didn't really get a chance to fully dry so this is a lip gloss and I'm just going to use a lip liner from wet and wild this is the shade lay down the mauves and I just put that down just to get the basic outline of my lips. I kind of get messy as it moves inward because the lip gloss is going over top. And this is a real pretty shade. Like it looks kind of straight up orange in the tube when you look at it, but it actually blends out really well. I hope you guys don't mind me doing this type of video whenever it's a spoiler video. It's also a get ready with me with the products that I got from last month. Um, I, I just... I love this color. It looks super orange when you first put it on, but it will blend out really well, especially with that lip liner. See what I mean? That turned really, really pretty. I really like the way that looks. I actually wore this look in a previous video, and I just, I love it. It's easy. I don't have to think too much about it. It is just, the products that we got in the box this month were really good. You know, things happen. Things did happen with Lila. She's doing so much better. Guys, thank you so much for asking about her. Um, I guess because we got the medicine to her as soon as possible, it helped out a lot. You know, stuff happens. I meant to do this video a little bit sooner, and I just didn't get a chance to. And I thought this was a good opportunity. So we can talk about the makeup that I got in the box, and then we can also talk about what's coming out in December. You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, and I also forgot I have another product. <laughs> in the November box. This is from Medusa's Makeup. This is a liquid eyeshadow in the shade Ginger. And I think it's so funny if they call this Ginger, but yet yeah, it's a silver. You would think with it being Ginger, it would be an orange. So funny. Um, this isn't as pigmented. Like it's very, very sheer, but in a beautiful way. Like it, I really, really thought about cutting the crease and putting this on top, but instead what I have been using this for is a inner corner highlight because it is so sheer. 
it just blends out so well and I think it looks really really pretty you know it doesn't really give you that crazy blinding shimmer it kind of subtle you know it's, it's kind of pretty and I also want to use this here like that looks so pretty I think that would look really pretty all over the lid but for some reason I'm really really digging it on the brow bone it kind of gives it that wet look and I don't blend all the way up at the top because I kind of leave a little bit more of the pigment there right against the brow bone I just kind of blend out the bottom part here so it blends a little bit more seamlessly and if you have fingers tiny enough or short nails you can just do this here which I kind of don't have either so it's a little bit difficult but it's working good enough and then for the last thing in the box, going back to the face kit from Bella Pierre, we're going to use the setting spray. This is an HD setting spray. I haven't used this yet. This is the one thing, well, in the sponge that I forgot to use. Um, and if I had been thinking, I should have put the, the cream highlighter down here too. I actually do like their highlighter formula. And let me go ahead and show it to you so you can get an idea of what it looks like. This is the end that has the, the bronzer in it. And this is the shimmer. And I still have the other highlight on here, so you can kind of compare the two. Like, they're both really, really pretty. But we're going to go ahead and set the entire face. Do a test spray. Just to get it started. Woo! Woo! That is an aggressive spray. What is HD about that? <laughs> Gosh! Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore on the other side. So it did leave a lot of little droplets on here. Ah, oh, it's kind of annoying, but you know. Um, where's that sponge at? I'm gonna kind of use it to touch up the areas where the bigger droplets got me. All right, and here is the complete look using everything that I got in my Slay Glam box. I do think this month was really, really good. Slay Glam is a good value. So far, I've been really enjoying the products that you get in here. And so far, I haven't seen any skincare items in here. I know that's something that a lot of other subscription boxes, there are people who just want makeup. And I think if you're that type of person, then this would be perfect for you. If you already have enough skincare in your collection and you're just looking to beef up the makeup that you have, I think this is absolutely perfect for you. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and comment down below if you were able to follow along with me in today's, you know, creating this look. And if you do post anything online, if you recreate this look or if you share your looks using this Legoland box, make sure you comment below and let me know or tag me on Instagram. I would love to take a look at it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day or night. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.